We're here as partners for Healthcare for America now. Actually, why don't you bring the sign over here so everybody can see it? Chef, let's bring the sign over here. <laughs> um, Ramon and Mildred, why? So, this is Healthcare for America now's uh, scorecard. Uh, these events are being done all over the state right now in selected target districts. Holmes, um, accountability event is going on in Harrisburg right now with your party and all minor. Uh, there are people we're thanking, such as Sestak and Brady. Uh, Carney we're thanking. Uh, Schwartz we're thanking. She's a, uh, a champion. And of course, Holden was the, uh, uh, there were two Democrats uh, in Pennsylvania who voted against it, Holden and uh, Altmeyer. And uh, I think our strategy going forward is to really uh, work on them to vote for the conference bill. Because uh, I'm sure you all understand that the process is um, the, the Senate will vote on their health care reform bill. Both Casey and uh, Specter are with us. Uh, we've got a lot of phone banking, and uh, our phone bankers may be calling into another state. Um, so hopefully the Senate will pass a bill, and then there will be the conference bill, and uh, we, we really need Congressman Holmes to vote for that. Uh, so that, that's going to be uh, our big local objective, but since we have some great volunteers, uh, we may be, uh, you know, invading Connecticut or one of these other <laughs> unenlightened states. So, um, you all know this. Uh, many of you are my volunteers, and I wish you everything be done by the, the U.S. House of Representatives passed the health care reform bill. Uh, it was a historic moment, uh, a big step forward in reforming health care, something that hasn't even been attempted for 15 years. And of course, this is a critical opportunity. We've got to make it happen this time. Who doesn't know that we've got health care crisis nationally? 45,000 people a year die of uh, lack of health insurance and um, the, the war that we've got going on here is, uh, while the 70% uh, of the American public supports the public option, which is key to reform, uh, the uh, health insurance industry is uh, spending $5 million a week uh, to defeat it. So, you know, this is what we're fighting against, and you know that it's a, a formidable enemy because they were uh, successful in getting uh, home and uh, 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 Altmeyer to vote against it, and in the Senate, you know, it's, it's more crucial. They've captured Lieberman and, and some of the others. So, uh, we Lieberman have to, surrendered early. <laughs> we've got to continue the fight. So, we're here in front Can I just say something real quick, please? This is not public property. This is private property. It's public it's property because you're renting it. Our office inside is part of public property. So is this? This is not. And you are Supreme Morgan? Court decisions that have, that have overruled that. Well, let him finish. I'm trying to be polite. So am I. <laughs> You're interrupting me. That's not polite. You interrupted her. I asked her very politely if I could say something. Did I? I believe so. Okay, continue. Okay. Okay. And then let us have our time. I'm more than happy to let you, you guys have your time. Please do not bother anybody going into the bagel place or the pizzeria. They can call the cops because that is their private, their pro this is all private property. I have no problem with you guys being here all day. If you get cold, please come inside. There's a water cooler. And if you help yourself to that, just please be careful with people coming through here. They do not drive very slowly. So I don't want to see anybody get hurt. This is your right to be here. I'm glad you guys are expressing your right. But I'm just asking you politely to please not bother any of the people going here.